Hi, my name is Stuart Fensterheim. I'm a marriage counselor in Scottsdale, Arizona. I wanted to talk today a little bit about prescription drug abuse. We're be going to be doing a series this week along with my podcast and YouTube videos on my YouTube channel on prescription drug abuse. Prescription drug abuse is really a very difficult topic. Part of why that is, is because for most folks, they get prescribed a prescription for a very good reason. Quite often it's chronic pain, or maybe there's anxiety, or maybe even they have an attention problem. And what happens as things go along is they begin to get the benefits of that. But for some folks, that becomes a dependency, which then becomes caught up in a cycle of addiction. When we start talking about prescription addiction, we're not talking different than we do with any other drugs. Because so often, a cycle of addiction we get caught up in. Someone that is using a prescription drug for reasons other than dealing with their pain in a way that it's prescribed. What we generally see is people beginning to take more of the drug than is on the prescription. And then they get caught up in the cycle of denial and lying. And family members get impacted by this. And so often there's a resistance to really understand that they're caught up in this never-ending cycle of wanting more and doing whatever it takes to get more of those drugs. Quite, quite often, where we see this is in the pharmacies. And now we have pharmacies and grocery stores, and now there's a data bank that tracks people's prescriptions. Because what we see with prescription addiction is people forging prescriptions. And so often, that's where they get caught. But the real problem is how it impacts the person and the family. Now, why would one person get this addiction and another? What we do know is that there are factors like environmental, but also predisposition genetically for becoming an addictive personality. So what I urge you as a family member or as someone that may be caught up in this cycle is please get some help because there is help out there. Now, to the loved ones of people who are caught up in this addiction, what you know is there's a lot of resistance to hearing the message that they may have a problem. Don't leave their side. What I mean by that, you may need to set some limits, but quite often how this comes out is the person has to have a crisis in their life. When that happens, and it's usually a pretty devastating one, be there for them. Be their support because they will need you then now more than anything because treatment for a prescription addiction is really hard. And the reason for that is because there is a real painful injury or problem that's being treated. So there needs to be withdrawal from the drug and then treatment for their addiction and for their problem that may require not being on medicine. And that is a really difficult road for a lot of folks. So your support is more critical then than any other time in their lives. Take care and stay connected. Bye-bye.